Hello there, you welcome to the African News. You're broadcasting live from Canada. I am Sandra Asante. Now, top stories. AU Council's plan to send Ethiopia election observers. Tigray crisis separates 5,000 children from parents. South Sudan schools reopen after a year of COVID closure. This and many more other stories after the break. You're welcome back from the break and we move straight to Ethiopia. The European Union has cancelled its observance mission for Ethiopians June election citing lack of agreement on key parameters. The AU's High Representative on Foreign Affairs, Giuseppe Barrel, said standard requirements such as the mission's independence and the importance of communication system for the security has been denied. It is disappointing that the EU has not received the assurances necessary to extend to the Ethiopian people one of its most visible signs of the support for the quest for democracy. The EU urged the Ethiopian government to carry out free and fair elections. It said it has supported the electoral board with 20 billion euros. Ethiopia is set to hold elections on the 5th of June. The polls are delayed because of the coronavirus pandemic. We move to Tigra and the charity Save the Children says almost 5,000 children displaced by the fighting in the Tigra region of the northern Ethiopia has been separated from their parents. Many have been arriving at displaced people's camp or informal shelters. Save the Children says they are vulnerable to hunger as well as physical and sexual violence. It says humanitarian organizations have been unable to reach most parts of the region and the children are having to fend for themselves. Six months after the war began in Tigray, 1.7 million people have fled their homes. The United Nations continue to warn of the worsening humanitarian situation in the region. It is also warning that while data remains limited, there are indications of alarming levels of malnutrition in the Tigray affecting children as well as pregnant and breastfeeding mothers. We are still in Tigra and Ethiopian National Defense Forces have joined Eritrean Defense Forces in large numbers in the ongoing military operation in the central Tigra. According to the battle report issued by the Tigra Defense Forces through TWTV, heavy fighting took place between the ENDF and the TDF in the Wakamba area of the central Tigra over the past few days. Tigra war has been ongoing since November 2020. We move to South Sudan and schools in South Sudan reopen countrywide after having been closed for more than a year to contain the spread of coronavirus. The announcement was made by the South Sudan Ministry of General Education and Instruction Abut Den Atu on Monday in the capital of Juba. Mr. Atu urged parents to encourage the children to go back to school. The UN's children agency UNICEF said it was committed to working with the country's education ministry to ensure learning continues. We share in the excitement of the children, their teachers and the parents that finally the doors of our schools can reopen for children to learn, play and enjoy the right to safe education, UNICEF said on Twitter. This is Roger Lekets and it's on African News. Thank you so much for watching. You should have a good day.